Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm sure this has happened to you. You hop in your car, you're about a mile or two away, and you see that your cell phone needs to be recharged. So you take your plug out, plug it into your cigarette lighter. All of a sudden, you realize that your phone is not charging. Now what do you do? Well, before you take these some crazy mechanic that does this to your car, let me save you some time and some money and a headache and show you how to fix this. Well, watch this video and see how I diagnosed the problem with my cigarette lighter and how easy it was to remove and replace this. You can have this repair done for about 40 bucks and it's real easy to do. So let's get to work. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the door. And what I have here is a phone charger. So what I can do with this is download music to a thumb drive, plug it into this unit, and it will play through the radio using FM stations. Anyway, as you can see, if I plug it in, I have no power. Once you turn the key on, it should power up. The screen is supposed to light up. It's kind of a bluish color. So the first thing we want to do is let's let's look in there and see what's going on. It looks pretty cruddy and it looks like it's gotten some use. It looks like there's soda and coffee was spilled in there and it's all dried up and crusted. So let's take our voltmeter and see if we're getting any power in there at all. As you can see, I'm using a voltmeter. I've got it set to 20 volts. What I'm going to do is put my red probe right in the center of that dot in the middle. And then the black probe, I'm going to touch the side of the cigarette lighter as shown. I should be getting anywhere between 10 and 12 volts, somewhere in there. Okay, it looks like we're getting about 10 volts, which is good. So what this means is that our fuse is okay. We don't have any problems going from the fuse box to the cigarette lighter. so. I don't have any shorts or burned out wires to replace. So it looks like the cigarette lighter fixture itself is all dirty and cruddy and I'm not able to get a good contact. At this point, if you want to do this, it's totally up to you, is I would pull the fuse that's under the hood. If you click above, I'll show you where that fuse is at and that video will take you there. Once you've turned off the power to the cigarette lighter by removing the fuse, you can take a wire brush and spray some electrical contact cleaner. Clean the inside of that fixture. Then once it's dry, I would take a little sandpaper and sand the inside of that so you get a good uh, contact. Once it's dry, I would put the fuse back in, then put the charger in there and see if it goes on. Now, I guess I could do that, but I'm just going to go ahead and replace this cigarette lighter fixture. It's pretty easy. Watch. Now, the first thing you need to remember before doing any of this work is that if your key is off, there's no power to your cigarette lighter. But if you turn the key on, you're gonna power your cigarette lighter. And if you're working on it, you may short out the fuse. So make sure you don't have the key on when you're working on your cigarette lighter. Otherwise, if you don't trust yourself, pull the fuse. Now there's a tool that you could buy. I found this on eBay for about 20 bucks. It also comes with the cigarette lighter fixture. When I received it, the package was open and the cigarette lighter fixture itself was bent. So I went ahead and used the tool anyway to see if I can remove the fixture. Now there's two small holes in there they say that you stick it into. And once it's in there, you just pull out and the fixture should come out, the inside part of the fixture. The black ring that's around the fixture itself stays in while you pull the metal part out. As I began to struggle to remove it, I come to realize that there was so much crud that was dried up in there, it was almost impossible for me to remove it this way. Plus, the tool got stuck in there. So as I began to pull it out, what had happened is I pulled the whole console out. I didn't realize how easy it was to pop this thing out, which is a good thing. So what happened was the tool got stuck in there. I have the console cover pulled out. So what I decided to do is to go in the back and then plug the cigarette lighter and remove the console itself. I tried to remove the tool, but it was stuck in there. And as you can see, I just got some channel locks and just crunched it until I got the lighter out from the back side. And for me, that was really easy to do. Okay, I did take a video of me removing the cigarette fixture out of the console. But like I said earlier, it's really easy to do. If you notice, right where the red arrow's at, you can see the metal portion of the cigarette lighter sticking out. So what I did is once I had the console out of the car, I took some channel locks and I carefully squeezed the metal portion of the cigarette lighter until it was small enough until I could push the metal part of the cigarette lighter from the back side out. You can see the example that I'm using here, how I used the channel locks to 
squeeze and compress the metal. Once I got that out, I took out the plastic part. Then I took it to my kitchen sink and I used warm water with soap and I cleaned the whole unit, dried it with a blow dryer, and now this console is totally clean. It doesn't have any coffee or spilled soda on it. All the doors and everything were working perfectly now. Okay, here's the two parts that I got from eBay. The one on the left is the fixture that obviously the cigarette lighter goes into. And on the right is the black plastic ring that snaps into the console. Here's a closer look so you can get the part numbers. I think the two of them cost under 25 bucks, if I remember correctly. Okay, now that we got our console off cleaned up, we're going to install the cigarette lighter fixture. The first thing we're going to do is snap in the black plastic ring. Now, if we look into the console where the hole is at, where the cigarette lighter goes into, you're going to see a tab sticking down. Well, if you look at the plastic uh, ring or bezel, you'll be able to see a notch. I'm going to point a red arrow right to it. That notch in the bezel has to line up, obviously, with that tab sticking downward. But before we install this bezel, if you look at the back portion of it, right where the slot is at, there's also a washer or a ring that has a plastic uh, nib on the washer. You can see me removing it with the pick. It's not part of the bezel. This part is universal, so if you didn't have a, a tab sticking down and instead you have a notch, you would leave the washer or ring in there because the ring has a tab on it. Anyway, so we're going to remove this washer. Once we have it removed, go ahead and install by pressing in the bezel into the hole. Again, make sure that the notch and the tab are lined up together at 12 o'clock. You just push and it snaps in. Once you have it snapped in, we're going to now install the metal portion of the cigarette lighter fixture. But before we do that, if you notice the bezel that we installed, it's got three notches. Two on the right side, you can see the two red arrows, and one on the left side. Again, I'll put an arrow there. Those three slots help you align the metal fixture of the cigarette lighter. Now let's look at the metal part of the cigarette lighter. You can see there's two raised notches and on the opposite side, you have one raised notch. You're gonna align these notches correctly into the bezel and you're gonna slide it in and push it in and it should snap in. Now, this is really easy to do. I mean, it's just like when you're a little kid, you put the square block into the square hole. That simple. If you can't do that, stop what you're doing right now and go to a mechanic. Once you have it snapped in, you're all done. It's installed. Now let's go install the console with your new cigarette lighter fixture in your car. We're almost done. Okay, you don't have to do this, but this is what I'm going to do. I have some caliper grease. You can use any kind of grease you want. But I'm going to grease these four openings so when the metal snaps go in, they kind of get greased up a little bit. So the next time, for whatever reason, I can unsnap this console out pretty easy. I plan to upgrade my stereo in the near future. Okay, now that we got our console in the car, you're going to put the console to the right of you or to the right of the opening. We're gonna plug in our power cord to the cigarette lighter fixture. It only goes in one way. Just make sure you snap it in. You'll hear it click. Once you have it snapped in, carefully lay the console down. Now it's probably not gonna fit. You're gonna to have to lift your center console compartment. You're gonna to have to open it up so it fits in there. Once it slides in, now carefully align the four snaps so you can feel that, that they're aligned with the holes. And then once you have it aligned, gently push down and your console should snap in. Now you're all done. Let's go ahead and put my uh, charger in and turn the key on and see if it powers up. All right, it works. See how easy that was? You just saved yourself approximately anywhere from $150 to $450. I could just hear the mechanic saying, well, you know, it's not an easy job. I got to tear the whole console apart because, you know, it's the wires are behind there. So it's going to take a lot of work. And all you did was spend 40 bucks. You should be proud of yourself. Anyway, I hope this video helped. And I hope I get to see you in my next video. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe to my channel. 
I have a bunch more Escalade videos that I'm sure you'll be interested in. Until then, bye! Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was very informative. Please check out my other how-to videos. Oh, and check out my new website. There's new items being put in there every day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, hit the bell. Until then, we'll see you at my next video. Bye.